I've been playing Beat Saber for quite a few years now. And over the years, I've tested out quite a few accessories. And over time, I've kind of learned which accessories are really beneficial to my Beat Saber session. So today, we'll be chatting about a few of my favorite accessories I use for Beat Saber. But a lot of these can be applied for any kind of VR fitness games as well. And a lot of these accessories work for the Oculus Quest and other VR headsets as well. First up, we have Grip. Improving the grip on your VR controller is a really important part of improving your Beat Saber gameplay, especially when it comes to the Quest controllers. I find the Quest controller is really hard to hold on to and really slippery. So that's where exploring different grip options is really beneficial. A lot of people just use a different hand grip, like a claw grip style to hold on to the controllers. For me, I personally don't like this. I have tiny hands. I find it really uncomfortable. So that's where I started exploring different grip options for the Quest controllers. There's plenty out there and I haven't tested all of them, but these are the key Kiwi grips. In particular, this is their, I think, Elite Extended Controller Grip, and it's actually a little bit longer than the default Quest controller. And the advantage of that, it has a thicker and longer attachment on the side. I find the big thing when you're looking at controller grips is that you want to be able to hold the controller without really holding it. And that's where this grip really comes in handy. You can adjust the drawstring to make it tighter. When it comes to Beat Saber, you want to have a loose grip and you want to use the full mobility of your wrist. So that's where you don't want to be holding your controller too tightly because then it's going to take away a lot of that flexibility. So I find these type of controllers really good because you can hold onto it without kind of actually holding onto it at all and get the full mobility of your wrist as well. Downside of this one though is that because of the extra length, it is heavier. So this is their standard grip cover. And again, it's really nice. It's got the silicon cover and also like grip details into the side to give it extra grip strength. The only thing I don't like about this is that I wish this would go tighter. If I could have this really tight, I would really love this, but you still kind of can, like uh, that's how tight it is at the moment. So if you're playing Beat Saber, you can still kind of hold on to this quite loosely, which I really like. But ultimately, when looking for a controller cover, you want to have this attachment here. So that then allows you to have a looser grip on the controller and you can still kind of hold on to it. Something I've been experimenting with recently is tennis grips on your controller. First saw this tip from Monty, and I have a separate video where I talk about this hack. And this is where you use the grips that you'd usually attach to a tennis racket. It's kind of like this leathery material that goes around a tennis racket, but I've seen people attaching them to their index controllers, and I absolutely love this. It gives you so much extra grip, it's really lightweight, and the colors are really cool as well. I have started testing them out on my Quest controllers and also really loving it there as well. Next up is head strap. Finding a comfortable Quest head strap is I think the most important investment you can get on your Quest. I find the default Quest head strap so uncomfortable, like irritatingly uncomfortable. They give me headaches and I find I don't wanna play things like Beat Saber as long as I usually would because the discomfort of the head strap just makes me wanna stop playing. So investing in a good head strap I think is really important. So there's lots of things to consider when you invest in a head strap. I personally use the Bobo VR M2 Pro battery head strap. This is my favorite one at the moment. I find it really comfortable. It's got kind of like a crown kind of shape feature where it kind of sits on the top of your head and it has this magnetic battery that you can charge separately and just pop on. And I have two of these, so when one goes flat, I can swap them out really easily, which I absolutely love. So for playing Beat Saber for long play sessions, I find this really good. Next up, we have a charging stand. Making sure your Quest is charged at all times so you're able to play whenever you want is really important. And that's why I love the Nexigo charging dock. They're also the sponsor of this video. The Nexigo charging dock has a little magnetic adapter that you plug into your Quest so you can magnetically slot your Quest onto the charging dock so it's easy to charge. So you don't have to worry about plugging in any cables, so you're not gonna forget to do it. The controllers come with rechargeable batteries as well, which then slot into the dock to keep it charged and ready to go. This stand is also compatible with the Elite Strap, so if you want, you can just plug the cable into the back of the Elite Strap instead, which then charges your whole Quest and the Elite Strap. And that's magnetic as well, so you don't have to worry about plugging in an extra cable. The design is really minimal and sleek, which I really love. The stand lights up orange while it's charging and then turns blue when it's fully charged. But don't worry, if you don't like RGB lights, you can press the little Nexico icon to turn off the light. I am that person that always forgets to plug in their Quest, so for me, I really need a stand that just makes it as easy as possible so I don't forget. I'm absolutely loving this Nexico charging dock and I'm super grateful that they've sponsored today's video. So now I have some accessories that I think are less essential to gameplay but more essential to your Beat Saber session, and that is an elastic stretching band. Stretching before Beat Saber is so essential to making sure you don't injure yourself before you play, so I 
always make sure to take time to do some dynamic stretches before playing Beat Saber. And this has been a big part of my stretching routine before I play Beat Saber. I usually stream Beat Saber for two hours at a time, which is quite a long time. And building a routine to make sure you're all stretched and ready to go beforehand, I find is so important to avoid injury. So this is a stretching band. I use it to kind of do a few different exercises to stretch and activate my muscles before playing. I am planning to do a dedicated video on stretching for Beat Saber. I've been meaning to make one for ages, but I'm I'm getting there. <laughs> so if you want a dedicated video about stretching for Beat Saber, let me know in the comments. Along the same vein of essential items, I have uh, a gym towel. It's no secret that if you're playing Beat Saber or any VR fitness game for a while, you're going to sweat. And I see a lot of people who ask me lots of questions about how they can improve the sweat in the headset when playing games like Beat Saber. And unfortunately, there's no real easy way except for wipe away the sweat. <laughs> I always, always have this on hand when I'm playing Beat Saber. I find I play a song or two and then take the headset off, wipe away the sweat and then jump back into it. Along with the gym towel, I also have a lens cleaner. So I usually have that as kind of like my go-to little break. And when you're wiping away the sweat and cleaning your lenses, it's important to have some H2O. We all know now that drinking water is very good for us, especially when you're doing physical activity, you wanna drink lots of water in between because you're losing a lot of water while sweating. I carry this water bottle with me everywhere. I usually go through a full bottle when streaming Beat Saber as well. This one in particular is insulated, so it keeps it nice and cool. I find just having a water bottle you really like using that isn't too heavy that you can carry around with you really help keep your hydration up, which we all know, very important. So next up, we have some kind of fun accessories that you may have not considered for Beat Saber before, but I absolutely love these accessories and I think they can add so much more to your Beat Saber experience. First up is... <sighs> a weight vest. I would recommend these more for other VR fitness games, but they can definitely add a lot to Beat Saber. So this is just like a little vest that has lots of sand in it. And you clip it in and it adds more weight just to your body. So when you're playing games like Beat Saber, it kind of increases your heart rate, which is then good for fitness and cardiovascular health and weight loss. If you're playing Beat Saber maps that have a lot of squatting, you're definitely gonna get a lot out of this. So if you wanna burn a few more calories when playing Beat Saber, then check out getting one of these because they add a lot to your workout. Next up, we have Mall Saber. So this is a little attachment you can buy that you plug your controllers into either end, and it allows you to play Beat Saber with a stick, essentially, which is commonly called Mall Saber, based on Darth Maul from the Star Wars movies. So if you want to add more difficulty or add a new skill to your Beat Saber gameplay, then learning how to do Mall Saber is so much fun. I'm not very good at it at all, but it is something I want to practice at and get better at. You can just play this default on the quest by making your blocks all circles instead of having arrows and you can just play with it like that but there are mods available called mod saber or I think alternate play that you can use on the PC version and I think the quest version and if you're curious about more more saber stuff I highly recommend you check out a youtuber called rage sack he is the more saber king he is amazing at more saber I wish I could get as good as him but ultimately, I need to practice more, but Mall Saber, so much fun. This is an accessory from AMVR designed for the Quest, but for now, this Quest ones are really easy to use and yeah, really fun way to play Beat Saber. So another really fun way to play Beat Saber, and if you got some money to burn, is with some trackers. These in particular are the Tundra Lab trackers, and what these are are essentially like the HTC Vive trackers, which allows you to have different point of tracking within VR. So the game basically sees these as other controllers. So commonly people use these trackers for full body tracking. So in games like VR chat, they can move around the whole body or VTubers so they can have a full body kind of movement experience. But something that they're getting used a lot for now is Feet Saber. So if you have the PC version of Beat Saber, you can download a mod called Feet Saber by Nala Luna and it allows you to adjust the sabers to where your feet are. And using trackers is a really good way to do that. I've actually only tried it once and I wasn't very good at it. So I haven't jumped back in yet, but I definitely will soon. Otherwise, check out a YouTuber called Cake. He is amazing at Feet Saber. So last Beat Saber accessory I have is a haptic suit. And again, this is for people who, who want to burn a lot of money on some VR accessories, but I absolutely love my haptic suit. If you're not familiar with what a haptic suit is, it's basically a vest that you put on and it has motors built into it that vibrate to coincide with the game you're playing. So generally it's designed more for like your FPS games, but people have started to make mods so it works with games like Beat Saber and it works with games like Synth Riders. So when you're playing Beat Saber and you hit the notes, it's gonna vibrate on the sides of your body and it just makes the experience so much more immersive and fun. And you know, when you hit walls and bombs and stuff like that, it's uh, 
uh, yeah. It just makes Beat Saber really fun and immersive and, and I don't recommend buying this just for Beat Saber. I recommend getting these if you want like a crazy immersive experience and play a lot of other VR games. This is definitely more for your hardcore VR users. So I guess if you are, have been considering one of these and are on the fence and you want that Beat Saber experience, well, there you go. It exists. But I think that's it! That basically sums up all my favourite Beat Saber accessories. If you've got an accessory you love and recommend to others, make sure to leave a comment down below. And I'll hopefully make a video about accessories I don't recommend because I feel like people are going to ask about a couple and they might be in that video. But all the links to everything is in the description and if you like this video, leave a thumbs up and I'll see you next time!